In today's video, I'm going to cover the top five most promising master's degrees you can pursue in the US, which are going to make you a lot of money. Now, we give you the reasoning why we pick these degrees and our reasons are based on thousands of data points and career paths that we've seen our own students pursue after graduating from these degrees. So our answers are backed by reason and no mumbo jumbo. So you should stay tuned. The first degree on my list has no prizes for guessing. It is a traditional master's in computer science. Well, you have to know by now that software runs the world. The applications of computer science and software are synonymous across sectors. Computer science grads therefore are always in demand and also because the US is of course the home and the capital of the world for tech companies where cutting edge products are built from scratch. Therefore the requirement for software developers, AI engineers, DevOps engineers is incredibly high. Therefore if you are a computer science grad looking to break into a master's in computer science, it is a great choice for you. In order for you to apply for a master's in computer science degree however, it is almost imperative that you come with a bachelor's degree in computer science. Like we've mentioned in earlier videos, which you can check out here, we don't recommend you apply to the top CS programs without a CS background due to eligibility issues. However, if you have a CS undergrad, a master's in CS is probably without doubt the best, most promising master's degree you can pursue in terms of return on investment and job opportunities. Now, if you want to know the average starting salaries for roles after various master's degrees that we are talking about today, you can check out the comprehensive video we made by clicking on the link right here. All right, now comes degree number two and here I'm going to do a little bit of cheating. I'm going to talk about the Masters in Information Systems, MIS, and the Masters in Engineering Management degrees. Now, I hate clubbing the two together because they can be so different, but in this video, I promised only the top five most promising degrees, right? Therefore, the cheating comes in and we are clubbing the two in. Let's talk about the MIS degree first. The Masters in Information Systems is a great avenue for you to break into software related or CS related roles if you come from a non-CS background because of the core curriculum in database management systems, data structures and algorithms and certain other electives you might have missed as a non-CS undergrad, you will be able to take them in the MIS program. Therefore, making you eligible for software engineering roles. MIS also takes you into product management roles, which are incredibly high in demand at this point in time, making it one of the most promising degrees you can pursue in the US. The Masters in Engineering Management or the MEM, which is the Engineers MBA, which makes you a manager within the tech sector is another degree that has incredibly good job opportunities at this point in time. The rise in the need for technical product managers, project managers, operations managers and supply chain managers at some of the finest tech firms in the US makes an MEM a very, very valuable education. The good news for you guys is that anybody from any undergraduate department in engineering can be eligible for the MIS and the MEM degrees. For the MIS, however, it is preferred by most schools that you have one to two years of work experience in a coding or the software related sector. For the MEM, you can apply without work experience from any branch of engineering. Now, if you've evaluated these degrees and are still confused about which one's better for you, We've created an entire playlist for both degrees, which gives you all the information that you need. You can click on the link here and view that and make your decision. Now, the third degree that I'm going to talk to you about, and again, I'm going to include two here, which are fairly closely related this time, are the business analytics and the data analytics degrees. The application of data analytics and the insights that you can draw from data are again applicable across the field. Whether you're working in the pharma sector, the software sector, the manufacturing sector, or any other sector, including management consulting, the ability to interpret data and draw insights for decision makers to make key decisions is incredibly useful. That's where an education in business analytics or data analytics becomes critical for a lot of professionals. If you look at the curriculums of both business analytics and data analytics, you will see that there is a lot of overlap. Both of these degrees prefer a little bit of work experience for candidates. They take in people from any branch of engineering. And in fact, they take non-engineers as well who have some sort of quantitative background in their undergrad. We've also seen BCom and BBA graduates apply to business analytics degrees and even finance undergrads make it to these programs. If you do not have work experience, then maybe you should look at more data analytics programs, which are a little bit more lenient on that work experience factor. For business analytics, we strongly recommend you apply with a little bit of work ex. Apart from that, if you want a one-on-one -on -one free consultation about what the best degrees are for you to pursue, considering where you are in your education or your career, you can always schedule a free consultation call using the link in the description. All right, so some of you from the non-circuit branches might be having your pitchforks up ready to attack me because I'm only talking about software roles. Well, the truth is that software sector sees the maximum demand even in the US. Like you'd have noticed, it's similar in India as well. But don't worry, for all of you who are interested in the 
the core branches of engineering like a mechanical or a chemical or a production engineering this degree is very very promising too i am talking about a degree in industrial engineering an industrial engineering masters degree deals with everything related to manufacturing and process optimization therefore industrial engineers see a lot of demand across the pharma sectors automotive manufacturing and even process industries aside from this because of the education that an industrial engineering degree provides a lot of ie grads also get into supply chain management roles which are incredibly powerful as a bonus if you want to do something related to manufacturing you can also look at supply chain management masters degrees though not a part of this list they are closely related to ie and offer great opportunities as well at number 5 i'm going to talk about a degree which might be interesting for a lot of you ece graduates i'm going to be talking about computer engineering and vlsi programs apart from the chip manufacturing jobs that it offers and the telecommunication sector jobs it opens up computer engineering and vlsi programs are also used by a lot of ec graduates to break into software related roles in the us electronics and communications and computer science are not viewed as very distinct separate departments like they are in india therefore the number of electives you can take from the computer science department along with computer science professors is very very high even if you do a computer engineering or a vlsi degree I've seen a lot of undergraduate EC students apply to computer engineering programs and break into software development roles because of the kind of elective combinations they've taken. Therefore, if you are an EC grad looking to break into the software sector and don't want to get a couple of years of work experience for an MIS, a computer engineering degree undergrad might make a lot of sense for you because of the kind of opportunities it opens up. All right, so that was my list of the five most promising master's degrees you can pursue in the USA. Of course, I did a little bit of cheating and maybe added number six and seven as well. So if you missed it, go back and check out the entire video. If you found this content useful, then please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Your likes will push our content up in the YouTube algorithm and will make sure that this kind of quality information reaches to more of your peers.